So we're now going to shift our thoughts to the column space of a matrix. All right, so looking at the definition to get started, the column space of an M by N matrix A is the set or collection of all linear combinations of the columns of matrix A. So we have here that if matrix A is defined by the set of column vectors A sub 1 through A sub N, then the column space of matrix A is equal to the span of these vectors. A sub 1 all the way up to A sub N. It is the collection of all possible linear combinations. And if we wanted to think about the column space in our set notation, we'd say the column space of matrix A is the set of all vectors B such that vector B is defined by the matrix equation A times vector X such that vector X is in Rn. So two little love notes here to keep in mind as we proceed is that the matrix equation, matrix A times vector X, is of course, just as we've seen in the definition, the linear combinations of the columns of A, which we've known since chapter one. So matrix A times vector X is the linear combinations of the columns of matrix A. And the new one here that we want to keep in mind that we're going to explore towards the end of this section is that the matrix equation A times vector X is also the range of our linear transformations. So we can say that the column space of A is in the range of a linear transformation. So something to get excited about.